I'm reading this book about anti-gravity. I just can't put it down. <laughs> oh, tough crowd. Which happens to be the exact world quest that we'll be discussing today, along with the associated achievement, something's not quite right here. We're gonna go over how to get it, what's wrong with it, and what Blizzard could do to fix it. And we're gonna do all of that while drinking a cherry grog, which is an in-game beverage, and we'll be using the recipe from, of course, the official Wild Cookbook. This is Tipsy Gaming. As always, if you want to skip the cocktail portion, you can check the timestamp in the description below to go straight to the achievement discussion. I'm also streaming on Twitch Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, and I would love it if you would stop by and say hello. So it also just started raining fairly hard. So sorry if there's any interference with that. Fingers crossed, everything works out fine. Now let's get to this grog. To make this, we're gonna take a glass filled about halfway with ice, and to it we'll add three ounces of ginger beer. Which one is rum? Two and a quarter ounces of rum. One and a half ounces of cherry juice. And three quarter ounces of lime juice. Then we simply garnish with lime and a cherry. And there we have it, cherry grog. Mmm. It's much fancier than I would have expected for something with a name like cherry grog, but I don't mind that because this is delicious. I'm gonna enjoy this, now let's talk tough crowd. Okay, so now we're gonna dress Tough Crowd, which is a world quest in Ardenweald, and the achievement that goes with it. The achievement is called Something's Not Quite Right, and it asks you to successfully accuse and expose eight boggarts in a row during the world quest Tough Crowd in under 20 minutes without guessing incorrectly. It would seem fairly simple and straightforward, but there's actually a lot of problems going on with this achievement. For one thing, there's very little to indicate who the Bogarts might be. You can get interference from other players who are just haphazardly clicking and accusing r mobs at random. Only the person doing the accusing can get credit, so it doesn't count if you're in a group. But even with all that, there are some ways to get this achievement. A common way is to use an add-on that identifies mobs, such as TipTac, ID Tip, and I believe even LUI has this as the default. But if you're someone like me who prefers to use very minimal add-ons, then maybe that doesn't appeal to you. So here are some other ways of getting this achievement done. If you're a hunter or a druid, you can use track humanoids to an extent. I tried this earlier today on my druid and for the most part it worked. I was nailing every accusation right up until my last one, number eight. On that one, I accused one of the tree people and it wasn't a boggart. It appears as though the tree people don't show up as humanoid either. So you can still use this tactic. You just need to find groups that don't have any tree people in them or use process of elimination if it's a group of four and one's a tree person and another is not humanoid. If all three are humanoid, then it still should be the tree person. But if two are not humanoid, chances are it's not the tree person that's the boggart. I hope that made sense. Also, demon hunters can see through the illusion using spectral sight. Another way to tell who the boggarts are is by looking at their dialogue. Specific lines that they say are indicative that they are the boggart. Typically, they are very negative towards the production that's being performed. For example, if they say, what a compelling villain, I empathize with their plight. That's a boggart. Or if they say, hmm, I find this shallow and pedantic, also a boggart. Or my favorite one from the list, I like the one about the cats. <laughs> Clearly, if they say that, they must be a boggart. I'll put a link in the description below to the Wowhead page on this so you can see the full list of phrases that should cue you that they are a boggart. However, there is a problem with this method as well. Primarily, all of the audience members have the same name of audience member. And it's very hard to distinguish who's talking sometimes, especially if they've taken on an animal soul shape, like a bear or a squirrel. I'm of the opinion that these dialogue cues are how Blizzard initially intended us to complete this achievement. 
not by relying on an add-on. So if this is how they truly intended it to be accomplished, then my suggestion is that they bring in additional names for the audience members. Let's get some of the names back from Karazan's Opera House, something like Philanthropist in it, or Patron. There are so many options that they could have gone with instead of just having everyone be called audience member. But I highly doubt they're gonna take the time to fix it now. So we have to make do with what we have. Now there are a couple other tips and tricks from the Wowhead community that I want to share with you. A member named Clern commented that they used the overtuned corgi goggles, which turned all of the regular humanoids into corgis and left the Bogarts as the usual audience member model. Another Wowhead community member by the name of a word with two Ds notes that you can use the spy glass from the chest of eyes in Maldraxxus in order to complete this achievement. Many have also commented that if you see a gold or yellow ring at the feet of the audience member, that indicates that they're a boggart. Some people see it, some people don't. I didn't, so I'm not sure where that falls. I think that covers most of the issues surrounding this achievement and also should provide a few ways to get around it. So I hope this helps. If you know of any other way of solving this achievement, please put a comment down below because I have yet to complete it. And until next time, this has been Tipsy Gaming. I'm Tipsy. Please drink and game responsibly. Bye now. I'm always afraid that I'm gonna just stab myself in the eye with cocktail picks.